Race three is a two-miler for four-year-olds and upwards. A long distance race, top one is Red Law for Alex Cherry, highly minded for CDJ Liggett, Wharton Bassett for Michael Scala, Secret Venue, Paul O'Neill, Gecko Sewell for Graham Clitterbock, Houston Obsessive, Vinnie Gerrard, Shoe Island, Darren Thompson, Gemma's Posey for David Robertson, Chippy Grand and Garen Sierra, Waltz for Craig Allen, Baroness Longford for Jim Murray, Riot Act for Leon Van Rensburg, Rowena for Martin Leader and Bakersfield Accelerate for Vinnie Gerrard. So 14 this time then, over the Longest trip of the day, two mile up. Ready to go, and away they go in. All out in a pretty level break, and who's going to be the first one to show? It looks like it might be right tacked over on the far side, but Houston Obsessive for Vinnie Gerard has now got to the lead, and he's probably going to try and cut over to the fence anyway, even though there's only one turn to take in this, and Houston Obsessive is not much of a turn at that either, so it's Houston Obsessive in the lead then, who's quickly gone too clear, seems to be the way these days, something goes a couple of lengths clear, and the rest chase hard, highly minded on the rail is second, then Gecko Sewell on shores in the is in around last season is third then Baroness Longford and Bakersfield accelerate Rowena in the stripes is also near the front of the back and the back marker early on is Shoe Island for Darren Thompson but it's Houston Obsessive who clearly leads now by four as they come to take this one turn and leading by a good four lengths to Baroness Longford in second then Gecko Sewell and Harley Mining Bakerfield accelerates after that one, then Rowena and Walton Bassett, Secret Venue and Gemma's Posey and then uh, Secret Venue trying to get a bit closer as well but Houston Obsessive is setting a pretty stiff pace now as they finally make that long sweeping turn and the four, five length leader is Houston Obsessive, Gecko Sewell is chasing hard in second, the black and red of Jim Murray for Baroness Longsford back in third then Highly Minded in fourth, after that one comes Bakersfield Accelerate, Rowena in the struts, then Walton Bassett and Secret Venue then Jenna's Posey and Chippy Grand Red Laws after that one on the back three are virtually in a line Garantia Walk Shaw and Riot Act a surprise back marker at this stage from the Leon Van Rensburg stable but it's Houston Obsessive who leads by four Gecko Sewell he leads the chase in pack in second then Baroness Longford is in third now can move around the outside is the leader's stable companion Bakerfield Accelerate who's trying to live up to his name at this point Rowena's just behind that one the one widest of the track is Chippy Grand but they're well inside the final mile now and racing down towards the final seven and a half furlongs and Houston Obsessive is still four lengths clear from Gecko Sewell who looks to be taking a breather in second then Baroness Longsford is third then comes Bakerfield Accelerate and highly minded Chippy Grand is after that one Secret Venues next then Wharton Bassett Red Law's getting a little bit detached at the back and it's now two lengths adrift of the horse in front which is Shoe Island but it's still Houston Obsessive in the lead then's led all the way so far but that lead is now down to less than two lengths as Baroness Longsford Bakersfield Accelerate and Gecko Sewell have broken away from the pack although trying to join them now is highly minded in the blue and the green the two Craig Allen runners are running widest on the track Chippy Grand and Garantia Waltz now both start to trying to make their move Gemma's Posey's after that one then Wharton Bassett and Riot Act now is beginning to work his way through the field Rowena's been hit a bit of a flat spot Shoe Island's also trying to weave its way through on the inside dropping out now a secret venue Red Law's beaten but it's Houston Obsessive now coming down towards the three furlong mark with a two length leading and he's kicked on in front from Baroness Longford Gecko Sewell Bakerfield Accelerate here comes Chippy Grand on the outside coming through with a run highly minded switched off the rail he's trying to make a forward move as well look at this Shoe Island who was last a minute ago is now bursting through but it's still Houston Obsessive now Riot Act has gone through from nowhere to challenge for the lead it's now going out towards the final furlong and a half and Riot Act it's the front Chippy Grand on this near side Houston Obsessive trying to fight back then comes Garrett here, Waltz and Shaw and running on, but it's still right act in front from Chippy Grand as they pass the furlong pole. It's right act on the, on the rail down this near side. Chippy Grand, it's close between the two of them. It looks like it's going to be between the two of them. Shaw and is trying to run on and racing up towards the line. Right act and Chippy Grand, right act asserts and right act takes it from Houston Obsessive, who might have fought back up to take second from Chippy Grand. It was close, but right act looks like a pretty decent stay up as he was right out the back and made his way through the field there's a stewards in corner I'm not surprised because two or three of those came right from the back Shoe Island was another one that ran through the whole field so I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't a little bit of interference from somewhere but right act deservedly keeps the race winning it really well from Houston Obsessive who got back up well to finish second so right act for Leon Van Rensburg the winner Houston Obsessive for Vinnie Gerrard second Chippy Grand for Craig Allen was third, Shoe Island for Darren Thompson, another one that ran on well from the back was fourth, and Gecko Seal for Graham Clitterbuck was fifth.